On Tuesday, the Ministry of Education released new school closure guidelines in hopes of preventing disruption to children's education due to COVID. But not everyone welcomed the new rules. Some parents say that having children under the age of 12 attend school is dangerous, as the age group is not yet eligible for COVID vaccination. Several local governments, including Yunlin, Nantou, and Zhanghua, say they will implement their own policies for school closures to keep children as safe as possible. The Ministry of Education on Tuesday released new guidelines for school closures. Previously, preschools, primary schools, and secondary schools were forced to close in full if two students in different classes were diagnosed with COVID. Now, schools will only close fully if one third or more of a school's classes are cancelled, or if 10 classes or more are cancelled. Parents are divided over the new rules, and many voice their opinions on the education minister's social media pages. Some parents left comments saying, primary school students aren't vaccinated yet, the new rules are too risky, and don't say that children only get mild symptoms and no symptoms at all, don't tell us not to worry. Others supported the new measures, saying, I wouldn't want my kids to stay home for their classes because education is not as effective that way. And we don't want closures to impact children's right to an education. If classes are cancelled, we have to come and pick up our children. The new rules that kids continue to go to school and not have to stay at home. But they could also cause everyone to get infected. Those are the dangers that the policy comes with. I think the point is not about the thresholds for closing schools. If there is an infected student, we wouldn't want our kids to go to class. And parents are not the only ones that disagree with the new rules. Some local governments say they will launch policies of their own. Yunlin County has announced that the Ministry of Education's rules will apply only to students aged 12 and up. It's said that students below that age are not yet eligible for vaccines, and thus school closure standards will be kept as they were previously. I think they are missing the point. Kids under the age of 12 have not yet been eligible for a single shot of a COVID vaccine. We are being as cautious as possible to protect our children. Zhanghua County says it will also follow rules of its own. The county's commissioner says the local government will respect assessments from experts and adapt its measures to the overall COVID situation, cancelling classes when necessary. Nanto County says it will also launch rules of its own. The rules in the past were too restrictive, and now they are overly relaxed. We will act following the overall COVID situation. If the epidemic gets worse, we might not wait until one third of classes are cancelled. We might just close the school from the get go. Commissioner Chan Li Shan's approach is absolutely correct. We will also be following a similar approach. Over in the six special municipalities, Taichung will also evaluate policies of its own. The city's education bureau convened on Wednesday afternoon to draft a set of local policies. Some parents say that they don't dare send their kids to school if there are confirmed cases in two or three classes. So today we hope to get input from everyone. Of the five cities and counties in central Taiwan, only Miao Li has announced it will implement the central government's school closure thresholds. We will operate in full accordance with central government guidelines. They have the expertise and we will implement it. The Miao Li commissioner said his county would follow the new rules in full. He also stressed that schools should abide closely by disease prevention guidelines to keep students as safe as possible.